Can you spell your name? M I O E S. Bam, sucker. Bam, sucker. Doing a video about the, the new car. Yeah, you have M&Ms. So. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to give you guys the walkthrough that I discussed. Back that up. I'm going to give you guys the walkthrough that I discussed on uh, my earlier vlog about my new vehicle. Um, to give you a little bit of a history. Uh, a small history. Uh, I had a 2012 Dodge Ram. It was the first truck that I had ever owned. I've always had, quite honestly, I've always had little crappier cars. So that was the first real new vehicle I got. So uh, that got up in miles, about 50,000 miles. And then I went to uh, <clears throat> trade it in. Uh, I was looking to get another truck, but the truck prices were so um, crazily expensive that I ended up going with the this is a 2013 uh, Dodge Durango RT and the reason I went with the 2013 is they had it on the lot um, still brand new um, but uh, it only had 350 miles on it and I got a great deal sticker uh, I got approximately seven or eight grand off sticker price so I'll give you a quick walk around and then we'll go into a little bit more detail. So it's like a reddish, it's more red than burgundy, but it has some gold flecks in it, or not gold, metal flake in it. Um, it's got the 5.7 Hemi, which is what my truck also had. Um, so you can see it looks, to me, it looks pretty mean. Um, but I'll, I'll give you the rundown of the outside before we go to the inside. You can see it's got the uh, HID already black painted um, headlights, uh, black on the inside. Uh, the fog lights bothered me because they were yellowish in comparison to um, the headlights because the headlights are factory HID. So I ended up uh, putting... I think the second day I bought a Thursday night, Friday I ordered HID kits uh, for the fog lights. So I installed those last week. Um, they look pretty good. I already, it already has the blacked out grill. I, I'm not a fan of chrome whatsoever. Uh, my truck had a bunch of chrome, not a bunch, it was a sport, so it had the matching painted bumpers. It was red also. Uh, there's pictures of it on Instagram back a little ways, but uh, anything that was chrome I tried to get rid of except for the stock rims. These have stock, you can see there's a small airport close to our house, so there's an airplane going over. Um, these have stock 20s, uh, which I like. Uh, maybe one day I'll end up changing them out, but for now I, I, I like them a lot. Um, you can see the back end, it's got the keyless entry, where as long as I got the key fob in my pocket, you can unlock and lock the doors. Um, it's got it on the driver's door, the passenger door, and then it also has it on the back here to where you can lock if you come around or unlock and then lift up the gate. It's got the automatic lift gate in the back um, where you can lift it with the remote or uh, close it with a push button on the inside. Um, pretty much... That's about it for the outside. This is, like I said, this is the RT package. So it's got a little bit more of the ground effects kit on it. I wouldn't say ground effects kit, but it's got a little bit of a body kit compared to the stock. And then moving to the inside, it has, I don't know how well it'll come up on the camera. I think you can see it there. You have the black leather with the red stitching. And it's got the red on the mats another thing i wanted to do while i had you guys since i don't have to do a separate video for it or anything is i wanted to do uh the install of my progressive snapshot which i mentioned in the earlier vlog so oh, this is all it is uh, I showed you guys it already. My wife's got one I put it in her vehicle already, but this one is specific to my vehicle. So, watch out, buddy. 
back up. I gotta put it under here. You're right where I gotta go. So it goes down here. I don't know how well you can see that next to the left side of the light. And it can it only goes one way. And you just plug this in, and this is the snapshot. And that's it. And again, you keep it going for six months and then if you drive well or what they consider well your insurance light will actually go down um, this isn't they're not a sponsor not a sponsor Lamar Wilson uh, they're not a sponsor so <laughs> they're not a sponsor but it's just something I'm doing and I wanted to share with you guys there's an app um, if you guys are more interested in it at all just leave me a comment down below I'll give you guys more interest uh, uh, more information and maybe I'll do a video about the app and different things so uh, anyways just wanted to share it with you guys also RT on the seats front and the first row of the rear it's got three rows uh, one thing this didn't have that I wish it did have was um, a DVD player for the kids but I can put that in aftermarket it's got the power sunroof moonroof um, which I'm not a fan of but I have been using it since I got it I just never really had a need for them but it's got it and I've actually been using it that bugs me because it's just the standard lights in my truck I changed them all out to LEDs and that'll be done on this one sooner than later I just haven't pulled the trigger yet so it's got the nine speaker um, Alpine system which is a stock um, Dodge system um, which is okay but there's no bass so the second day I had it, I pulled the stock speaker out, added another 500 watt amplifier and a 10 inch woofer, which we'll see in the back. Um, but what I do with that on every vehicle I've ever had, as you can see, hopefully you can see it. I'm not sure how well it's, but there's a kill switch down here, which is just goes to the remote. Um, that goes to the remote. Uh, power on the amplifier so that'll cut the amp off I have the kids in a car or I don't feel like hearing that that kind of kicking which mine doesn't kick too loud but I can turn it off if uh, if I'm listening to Howard Stern or something and I don't want to hear bass that much bass in his voice uh, every you can see here everything power windows power mirrors it's got the two position memory for seating um, I'm not going to get into everything, but it's got, like I said, uh, you don't need the key. Push button start. It's got like these glow rings around the gauges, which you can actually turn on and off with the in the menu. Um, up here you have the, this has got the navigation and then Sirius. Garmin navigation um, pretty much a standard the it's got the Uconnect so you can connect pair your Bluetooth which I'm having issues listening to Sirius so I've actually pulled this out to where I can actually just connect straight up for some reason the app streaming over the Bluetooth has been cutting in and out so um, you have dual climate control I got it's got a uh, 120 volt plug in the back it's got it's got a tow package on it, traction control here, parking sensors, and then here you can flip back, I'll flip it around, you can see the back headrest, and then when I press the button, it'll drop down just so you can see better. Uh, it's got like a black wood grain trim to it, um, sunglass thing in the back, which none of my Oakleys fit in, so don't really use that. And here you can see the back seat, which usually I just pulled out the Miles sits here in his like booster type seat. You can already see him getting indentations in the leather. And then Sawyer sits over there and I have bought a black towel so that I don't get milk all over the leather seat like my truck was. Uh, then you have the back seats are also heated. And then you, here's your 115 amp plug, not 120. And then you got some cargo netting. And then back here... The center console you got a top one and then at the bottom you have your 12 volt DC and then a USB just for charging only and then obviously a storage compartment and these seats flip up to get to the back 
and you have the, the third row, which there's no heated seats or anything. Uh, but cup holders, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I wish there was DVD, but then they have their own uh, climate controls in the rear. Then you can see some of the other speakers in the back corners for the Alpine system. And then also there's tweeters up front next to the mirrors. And like I said, the auto lift gate. This is the tent I put in here. Not real happy with having a old school. I mean, it's not old school, but it reminds me of old school because these are the kind of boxes I had when I was 20 years old. It was a long time ago, but it, it hits really good. And then if I want to remove it, I just undo those two speaker wires and that's it. I put the amp down. I will show you. Got this little smuggler's compartment here. And right there where it says Alpine, underneath there was where the 8 inch stock kicker was and it did not kick to save its life. So I took it out and then now the 500 watt Kenwood speaker is underneath which is only connected to this 10. And then you still got the storage, everything still looks stock. I'd love to get some type of box in that area there so I don't have a box on top here but for now this will do. You got DC power back here uh, for your third row just on the one side little cubby here it's got a little flashlight that charges from the car a little LED so that's nice. Our, uh, we had a uh, Chrysler town and country van or something had the same thing so and then you can just hit the button there get out the way so you don't get your head chopped off and that's about it but uh, I had mentioned it in the last vlog and a few of you have asked about it so gave you the quick rundown uh, thumbs up for the video I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, let me know if you have any questions about the ride or any other questions so I'm gonna let you guys go I'm getting ready to cook some steaks on the grill peace, um, <laughs> peace we're out of here and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon I uh, got some more videos coming. Posted a giveaway today. I don't know when you're watching this, but it is, what is today? March 29th? No, March 30th right now. I got a giveaway going away until, uh, going on until Easter where I'm giving away a Pebble Steel or a Galaxy Gear camera. You, it's your choice. Just leave a comment and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and Facebook, and I'll announce the winners there. Uh, also, I got a bunch more contests coming up. Uh, I'm thinking about just doing a social network, doing a Facebook giveaway, a YouTube, or not a YouTube, a Instagram, a Google Plus, a Twitter. Just littler things, cases and different iPad and iPhone accessories. So let me know down below if that's something you guys would be interested in or should I just stick with my YouTube family here and just give away to you guys. So um, let me know and I will talk to you guys and, in the next video. Thanks for watching. And, um... But you're eating candy right now. No, the other candy wasn't Easter Party can't get me. Oh. Hey, um, 